Hello Team Whiteman, uh, my name is Josh White. I'm one of the co-founders of the page. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we wanted to make a quick video introduction, kind of explaining um, why myself and the other airmen wanted to create this page uh, for our community, what we're passionate about, what we hope to achieve. I want to start with our mission statement, is to unite the Whiteman community by sharing resources and best practices to foster an environment of resiliency that improves the quality of life of our airmen and their families providing all airmen a platform where their voice is heard and their story matters. Now, as you know, a page like this already exists. <laughs> well, recently they have been having shred outs um, where bases kind of own their own page and, and that just kind of generates the community aspect, right? You know, I'm, my name is Josh White. You, you're seeing me in these videos. You see me on the Whiteman page. If you wanted to come and find me and chat with me, you could come to Honor Guard and, and we could hang out. So that's the benefit of having like a local page. So myself and the co-creators of the page um, either currently work in Honor Guard or have worked in Honor Guard. We work with airmen across the whole base, all different AFSCs. Um, so we see a lot of the struggles from the different work centers. We hear about it all the time. We try everything we can to empower the airmen, give them a voice, communicate, put them in situations where they become leaders, and, and we try to send them back to their workplace better airmen. It's something that you know we became very passionate about. And it's, and it's those same concepts um, and passions that drove us to create this page. The one thing I've heard working in Honor Guard over and over again and why the airmen appreciate working there specifically is because they have a voice. And that's kind of when I started connecting the dots. Uh, we have a very tight-knit group. We have a lot of purpose. So we have the foundation needed to build trust and teamwork. And I've seen the power of that firsthand. <laughs> Scary! For my own personal testimony, I've been in 15 years. Um, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. I, I was that airman struggling, okay? I had zero confidence. I dreaded going to work every day. I felt powerless, okay? I've been there. Um, and I've grown tremendously. I think every leader that we come across has gone through a struggle. And I think we're getting to that point in the Air Force where they're actually speaking on it and they're telling us about it. And hearing you know, people that we admire, look up to, who are in charge of our well-being, to know that they've struggled and that they've turned out the way they did, I mean, that's, that's so motivating. So I, I love the direction that, that we're going right now. So in my own personal experience, back when I was really struggling, one thing that I, I can look back on and definitely see is that I felt like I had no control over my life. And it was causing me a lot of stress, okay? Um, it wasn't until I started taking back that control when I started feeling good about my future again. But my point is, is that this website, <laughs> is that this website um, can be used to kind of start taking back that control by posting your testimonies, by asking for help, giving you resources. We have a lot of ideas for the page too, by the way. Um, we wanna make ours video-centered, possibly podcast, working pull with the chaplains. Okay. okay. We wanna work with the chaplains, um, get some podcasts going, possibly like Joe Rogan style, where not only can you hear the audio, but you can also see it uh, visually. Um, we, we want to take it in that direction. We feel that that's a lot more personable. It's a lot more interactive than just reading a paragraph on the internet. Another thing that really started generating conversation and made us want to create this page uh, here at Whiteman was the uh, resiliency tactical pause. I myself and, and a few of the co-creators of the site, uh, we held a handful of sessions. And I mean the power of conversation just generating that conversation. Each one went completely differently, completely different direction. You just don't know what someone's going to bring to the table. But I can say with certainty that everyone walked out of those meetings feeling better. Okay, and, and that really hit home for all of us. And it's a huge reason why we decided now we need to get this ball rolling and we need to rally our community so with that being said, I think we pretty much covered the basis on why we created the site, um, why we're passionate about it. And I encourage you to open up, ask questions. Just don't. 
don't be afraid to make videos. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Uh, we're here for you guys. Um, we're a family. That's my philosophy. Mama! It's not just a business. It's not just a job. Uh, some of the worst Mama! leaders I've ever met have said that and have lived by that code. And, and I believe that's completely false. We are a family. We are a community. And we need to take care of the person to our left and right. And this could fail. I don't know. This could be a horrible idea. I have no idea. Uh, but it's definitely worth trying. So thank you for taking a look at the page, stopping by, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Take care.